Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to go over some of the basic tools that I keep around the house for just about anything I do. These are just two tool bags that I always carry with me anytime I'm going to do anything. These two bags consist mostly of hand tools, some uh, materials that I need, uh, some screws and bolts and stuff like that, um, tape for example, but mainly hand tools and also a drill and a driver. So what I want to do today is just kind of remove all of these tools one at a time and just kind of show you guys what I carry with me. So many of these tools I've actually bought on Amazon. Um, I buy quite a lot of stuff on Amazon. The tools that I have bought on Amazon, I'll go ahead and provide uh, the link in the description of this video directly to the tools on Amazon so you guys can go check them out there. Some of these tools are not from Amazon and I'll go ahead and list where I bought them if I can remember. Some of these tools are years old and some of them are fairly new. I'm going to try to make this a nice quick video. I won't spend too much time on each individual tool. It'll just be a quick take out of the pocket and just show you what it is and what I use it for mainly and I'll put it aside. So here we go. I'll start off over here on this side in no particular order. This is a utility knife. Everyone should have a utility knife. You could cut boxes with it. That's what I use it mostly for. Um, or any other sort of material. So that's that. Next we have, similar to a utility knife, this is just a regular knife. This one I don't use all that often at all. Since I have this utility knife, that's what I use more often. So this might actually disappear from my tool bag since I don't use it often enough to want to carry it everywhere I go. Here we have a nice little lever, or sorry, a level. And what this is mainly used for is, for example, installing a wall bracket for a TV or to frame pictures on the wall or just about anything that you need to level. This one's really cool because it has an adjustable uh, pitch here so you can kind of level things that are at a different angle. So that's that. This here is a really cool tool that I use often when I'm working on the electronic part of the house, uh, like at outlets, switches, power outlets, so forth. Um, you can check outlets with this to see if they're live. Definitely don't rely only on this, but I always use this right before I touch anything electronic just to double check that it's not live. So it's a cool tool. Almost done with this side. Here we have uh, wire strippers to strip wiring. Mainly I use this for electrical outlets to strip wires. Um, just about any time I work on electronics, I use this. It's a nice little needle nose pliers, um, nice and thin. You can fit them inside the little crevices, pull things out. It's pretty cool, really cool little pliers. That's mainly for small things though. I have larger ones I'll show you in a bit. Here we have uh, cutters mainly to cut little wiring, stuff like that. You don't want to cut anything too large with this. That's not what it's meant for. What I like about this is it's a flush cut. So whatever you're cutting, you can cut it flush to the surface. Really nice. All right, so we're done with this side almost. Actually, there's one more thing. In here, I carry the prongs for my multimeter, which I'll show you in a bit, but that's what goes in this pocket. All right, so now this pocket here, not too many things, definitely useful, but not too many things. I only got two things in this pocket here. Uh, the first one is this wrench set with a few different type of bits here, but it's mainly for the wrench set here. So uh, it's nice to have small amount. You don't need too many when you're going to take these, this tool bag everywhere. And I've got a little tiny can of WD-40. I use this a lot for every little thing. Um, you could take out uh, old rusted bolts, for example, from places. You can lubricate parts. You can clean parts with it. Uh, so this is a very useful little thing to have with you all the time when you need it. Now on this face of my tool bag, I got quite a lot of little things. So 
This is a really handy thing about this bag is it comes with this little strip that you can just kind of put whatever you want inside and it locks up here like this. So it's really nice. So let's take this one apart first. So in here I have various tapes. Uh, I got a painter's tape, which I use often for spray painting things, for example. Two types of uh, tape for, this one's for plumber tape for water to stop water from coming out. This one's to stop gas from coming out of threading. So that's those two. This is a sealing tape. And here we have a nice strong Gorilla tape. I use this for a lot of little things. Um, it's good to have as a general purpose strong tape. Let's move on. In this pocket, I have a toothbrush. This comes in handy quite a lot when I need to clean little things here and there, uh, scrub grime off of something, or let's say I spray a uh, degreaser on something and I need to just kind of sc uh, scrub off whatever comes off of it. So this is a cool cleaning tool. I like to carry one of these with me all the time. Here we have a little pick. It's uh, a little bit more than 90 degrees. And this is good to have to pick things and just kind of pry on things. This here is really awesome. It helps you find studs in walls. Um, it's magnetic and basically locates uh, the screws that keep the drywall up against the studs. And that's how you are able to find studs with this. Here we got a little square. It could, it's really awesome because you can really quickly find mark squares on wood. For example, you put this right up against an edge and then you can mark squares. You can measure things as well. You could also do 45 degree angle. It's even got this little uh, <laughs> level here, which is really awesome. It's a great tool to have. I use it often to mark things and stuff. This here is just uh, to open paint cans. I use paint quite often, so I like to keep one of these around just so I don't make a mess uh, opening it with something else. Here we got a pencil, carpenter's pencil. Um, this one's actually not been used yet. I even have a sharpener for this. Stick around to see the sharpener. But yeah, this is uh, really nice to have when you're marking wood or marking the wall, something like that. Sharpie, always good to have a marker with you. And I got two center punches to punch uh, little tiny dimples into something before I drill or before I screw stuff in. Good to have these as well. This is a lifesaver. This is a telescopic magnet. So if you drop something and you can't reach it, if you drop it into a little area that you can't reach with your hands, you can just open this up and just pick at it like that. It's really cool. Good to have. Mechanics like this sort of thing because if they drop something into the engine bay, they can reach down between the parts in the engine, just like grab things out of there. Good to have. Uh, I showed you pliers a little bit earlier, uh, cutting pliers I mean, and those were for little tiny wires and stuff like that. This one's a little bit more heavy duty. You can cut larger things with this. Definitely not to cut bolts, but you can cut like little thinner things. Uh, for bolts, I have something else. Here we got some heavy duty scissors. You open it up real quick, it locks in place with this. And they're just kind of a thicker scissors so you can cut, uh, not really metal, but you can cut uh, plastics or thick cardboards or whatever it is that you need to cut. But as long as you don't cut any like heavy metal type of stuff and you should be fine. Really good to have these things around. You could cut plastic with the two. Random parts, <laughs> it's just a zip tie I might need. Um, it's the kind that you can remove by pushing down here. And over here we have a razor. Um, I flipped it inside out so that it doesn't cut me. So you basically unscrew this and flip this around and it's a razor. And I actually have uh, backup razors inside to so when this stalls out I can put in a new one. I've never used this, it's a recent, something I recently bought like a week ago, good to have too. I have used to have another different razor uh, holder, but it was really janky and it fell apart often, so I had to buy a new one. This is nice to have. 
So that's that for this side of the tool bag. All right, so now the last side of the bag before I go on the inside part. So here we have a measuring tape. You all know what this is for. It's a nice big one, it's 25 feet. Here I have crazy glue or super glue and uh, epoxy as well, part A and part B to mix together just in case I need it. This is something everyone should have, I believe. Uh, sometimes you have tools that require ground and you're working somewhere where the outlets are super old and they don't have ground. So what I've done here is I've cut this part out so you can adapt this part against the wall outlet and still use tools that you that need ground. Obviously it's not good to do this, uh, but for just a quick way of using your tools where ground isn't provided, it's always handy to have something like this. Here, this is just some blades. This is a lithium grease, just a general purpose sort of grease that I use whenever I need to grease something up. This here checks outlets. So if you install something new or if you need to check if the wiring is correct in an outlet, in a power outlet, you can use this and it'll tell you if there's ground or no ground and sort of if it's wired backwards, like vice versa. So it's really cool to have this. You should probably have more than one of these, but I only have one at the moment. Smaller screwdrivers, flat and regular um, Phillips. Stubby little screwdrivers as well for tight spaces. And here, this is a sharpener for the pencil I showed you earlier. So you put this in here and it'll sharpen it. Very easy to sharpen with this. And that's it for this side. Let's move on. All right, so let's move on to the inside of the bag now. Here we got a ruler, nice 12 inch metal ruler for marking things straight or measuring something really quick without using a measuring tape. A bag of zip ties, these always come in handy. This tool, I keep forgetting what it's called. I think it's called Crowfoot or something like that. And what it allows you to do is quickly pull out nails from walls, uh, house framing nails and such. Um, if you need to just kind of use it as a crowbar, you can put this up against something and tap on it with a hammer and just kind of separate things out or break things apart. Uh, it's nice to have this tool. I use it quite often. I have the smaller version as well for tighter spaces. And I've used this quite a lot. Apart from that, I have all my screwdrivers of different lengths. I'm thinking about actually replacing the use of all of this with one that has multiple tips stored inside the handle. But I'm still thinking about that, I'm not sure yet. So instead of carrying all of this, I can just carry one with multiple bits inside that I can just replace when I need. But for now, I'm still using these uh, simple ones that are not multi-bit. All right, so let's move on to the next side. Over here. Here we got a rubber mallet. Rubber on this side, plastic on this side you know, to hit against things without marring or breaking them. Of course, I've got myself a hammer. Everyone needs to have a hammer. This here uh, is just a, like a pick, straight pick, and uh, to punch holes into things. Over here we got just a Phillips screwdriver, oh not Phillips, I'm sorry, a flathead screwdriver, but it's not really meant to be used as a screwdriver. It's more for picking at things or um, just kind of using it as a way of uh, putting between things and separating things and just, it's just easy to hold and gain leverage on stuff and to just kind of break things apart, that sort of thing. Pliers, nice thick pliers. I got this at a garage sale for a dollar and it was really rusted. 
I cleaned it all up and now I'm using it. It's a really nice pliers. And I got a couple of adjustable wrenches here, two different sizes. It's always good to have two of these because sometimes you're working on something that has two bolts that you need to just kind of unset from each other. So it's good to have two of these. Having two different sizes also is good. This one will fit into tighter spaces, for example. And I got a nice speed square. It's very lightweight aluminum. So that's that. There's all these tools have various ways of using using them and I'm not going to go over in detail all these tools but for example this one you can use this for a lot of different things um, but I'll try to post a video on some of these tools individually that I use more often so let's move on all right so the last part here is the middle compartment I've got goggles always have a pair of goggles just in case I wear them whenever I'm doing something that I might break and pieces might fly into my eyes or something. Always wear your goggles. A little magnetic or magnetized metal dish to keep screws and stuff that if I'm working on something and I'm removing lots of screws, I keep it in here just in case so that I don't tip it over and things spill out because it's magnetic, you'll hold everything in. A cloth, I always have a little cloth in here either for my hands or if I'm cleaning a, something, it's good to have a cloth. If I'm going to carry this bag um, far away, like if I park somewhere really far and I need to carry this bag up the stairs or something, this is just a shoulder strap. It'll make it a lot easier to carry this on my shoulder than if I was to hold it with my arm because it is quite heavy. So I always bring this strap with me just in case. Here I have a multi-tool. Uh, a lot of the things I do involve uh, electricity. So this one tests amps and voltages and a lot of other different things. Um, so it's always good to have one of these. And the prongs you saw earlier fits into this. And that's what the multi-tool is for. This is quite an expensive one, but you can always get a cheaper multi-tool that does all these things as well. Um, you should definitely have a multi-tool around the house. It's very helpful. Now here I have some smaller materials. Let me unlock it and show you guys what I've got in here. So this one's more for electricity. Here's parts to put against uh, the wiring against wall. Um, yeah, so a lot of various little tiny electrical components fuses and such. Here's a shrink uh, shrink uh, wiring. So it's pretty cool. Or, yeah. And here wow, some parts came out. So I got a lot of rubber o-rings, different sizes. So if I'm like replacing a faucet o-ring I could find the right size in here. Some screws. So, yeah, just like a lot of little parts here and there that I can use to hang things on walls, for example. Washers, and nails, and such. A few things here and there I like to carry around. All right, so that's it for this bag, but this is not all the tools I carry with me. I got a smaller bag. Let's go through that one next. All right, so this is a smaller bag. It's a lot lighter than the other one. So let's go through this one next. Let's start off in the front here. Another magnet thing. Definitely don't need two, so I'm gonna probably take this one out of the bag. We got different sized bits here for drilling into, in this case, metal. On this one here we have earplugs for when I'm working in a loud area or if I'm using machines that are really loud. I like to have a pair of these. And that's it. On this side, let's flip the bag over. This is 
kind of a gimmicky tool. I haven't actually gotten to use it yet, but it removes uh, bolts of different head sizes. And so you just kind of press this into whatever it is you're trying to untighten and it'll take its shape and hold it down and you can untighten it. I've never actually gotten to use it yet, but I have it just in case I come up on a situation where I don't have the right size or something that needs to get removed that I don't have the right tool for, I might be able to use this to do it. Here's adapters for various different sizes. Here we have, so this is a, a little bit set that you use to remove broken screw heads. So if you strip out a screw head, like a Phillips screw or something, you can use this to first drill into it. And then on this side, you use it to actually remove the broken screw. Um, I've gotten to use this a couple of times and it does work. But I have also used it where in situations where it didn't work. So I don't really know what to say about this just yet. I haven't used it enough to really make a comment on it, if it's useful or not. Over here, I have a couple of these hex wrenches and various different sizes. This one's SAE, this one's uh, in millimeters. It's the metric one. And you just kind of push down here and unlock it and it'll lock into place. So that's really cool. Good to have these. Use it quite often on bicycles, for example. When I'm repairing my bicycle, I use these. Over here, I have another pencil. This one's actually, uh, I'm currently using it. I've got really large uh, bits to bore out larger holes. That's the larger one there, and I got two more over here, different sizes. And a pencil, well, a couple of small pencils. Over here, I have bits, drill bits, but they're for like, uh, more for like uh, stone. It's not for metal or wood or anything, it's more for stone and concrete and such. Alright, last side on this side here. This is a security bit set. It has a lot of more not so popular bits in there for uh, various things like the stars. Got some hexes with holes in the middles. I don't know what these are called exactly. Um, a lot of weird sort of bits that they use normally for security so that you can't unbolt things uh, very easily. So that's what that's for. I've used this a few times on certain things. It's good to just have there. All right, let's go ahead and open this last part here. This is just a charger. It's the charger for my, the battery for my uh, drill and for the driver I have that I'm about to show you. All right, so let's go ahead and go through this real quick. Let's take out the big ones out of the way first. All right, so here we've got various different bits, drilling bits, I mean, to just drill holes in metal and wood. Here's my drill. I use it also for, you know, uh, for screws and stuff, but this one is a drill meant to actually drill holes. Here we have the driver for screws and such. I never use, I never store these with the batteries plugged in. I don't recommend doing that. I always put the batteries aside when they're not used. And so I got a couple of batteries here for the, dr the drill and the driver. They just kind of sit in the side here, put them back. What I like about the, these batteries actually, the, the newer DeWalt batteries is you can press this button and it'll tell you 
how much power remains inside. That's really helpful. But I always have my charger just in case I need to charge one while I use the other. I got some gloves, very useful to have gloves with you um, so you don't hurt your hands or, or um, also to get better grip on things. Here I have a really cool tool. This one is to fit in tight spaces and still be able to use your uh, driver to put screws into walls and stuff in tight spaces. So it's like a little L, see how it spins inside? Really cool. I forgot exactly what they call these. What else we got? Let's see. Here we got various different bits, different sizes for screws and such. I have this again um, for screw to collect screws inside or any metal parts that I don't want to drop. Here we have different size uh, bits to make holes. Uh, what I like about this style of bits, although it's rough, you don't want to use this for fine uh, to make holes in, in like cabinets or anything, but you can definitely use it for studs. Um, what I like about this is that you can store it away and it doesn't take up much space because they're all flat. So this always goes with me. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's a lot of different tools I have that I did not include in these videos. In this video I should say. But I'll probably make more videos about some of the other tools I have. But these are the, the tools that I mainly take with me whenever I'm doing anything. So it covers, I would say like 90% of the stuff I do, I need these tools to do them. Um, some of the other stuff like plumbing, I have a separate uh, tool case for plumbing stuff. The problem with plumbing is that it's usually heavy tools and you just don't use them all the time. So I have that in a separate toolbox, uh, which I might show in a future video. But in any case, thanks for watching. Um, if you are interested in any of these tools, I'm gonna have uh, links to them in the description of this video so you can check those out um, most of my tools I bought from Amazon some things I bought from the local uh, hardware store as well um, well thanks for watching please subscribe to help support my channel and see you later